you done now? Broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, and around the world. And around the world. TV host, best-selling author, and radio personality Brad Gilmore brings you a collection of conversations with stars from movies. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, how are you? The legendary Mr. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Great <laughs> introduction. Television. Jimmy Fallon joins us this morning. Jimmy, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. Thank you so much, Brad, for having me. I appreciate this, bud. Kelly Ripa. Brad, thank you for having me. Comedy. Jay Leno joins us. Jay, how you doing? Hey, Brad, what's going on? Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias. Good morning. Music. Lola Monroe. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The legendary frontman of ACDC, Brian Johnson, joins us right now. Brian, how you doing? Good morning, Brad. What looking at you give me funny lad. Grammy Award winner Maya joins us. How are you? And more. And more. This is, is the, the collection. collection. Now your host, host, the, the boat, boat, Brad, Brad Gilmore. Gilmore. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Collection. There you are. I'm your host, Brad Gilmore, and uh, today on the show, we have somebody who, again, I'm a fan of, just came on my radar recently, because I am not Bachelor, Bachelorette Nation. I'm not familiar with a lot of those uh, characters, however... My wife and I, along with my mother, who, who paid close attention to this season of Dancing with the Stars. Now, my Dancing with the Stars knowledge also limited. I remember watching early on, I think the first season, Kelly Monaco won, who was a soap actor uh, from General Hospital, I believe. And that was probably one of, if not the last time I watched. Now, I would watch anytime there was like a wrestler on. So Nikki Bella, I watched her season. Stacey Keebler, I watched her season. Chris Jericho, I watched his season up until they were eliminated. And then I had no interest. I cannot tell you who won any of those seasons. For some reason, this season on Dancing with the Stars, I, I was in. Um, my wife and I wanted to watch Jesse James Decker, who's been on this show before. We wanted to watch her performance and see how she did in in this season. And this season was also on Disney Plus, and uh, we watched that for her. And then, man, became a fan of so many of these people who I'd never, who I won't say I'd never heard of. Like I had heard of Charlie D'Amelio before, but I was not really aware of who she was or what her relevance was. Uh, I knew my wife said that she was a TikToker, and then her mom was on there. Wayne Brady was on there. Um, who else? Arnold Schwarzenegger's son was on there. Um, as we talked about, Jesse James Decker. I know I'm forgetting people. Vinny from Jersey Shore. And then my guest today. My guest today is Gabby Wendy. She first rose to prominence in Bachelor, Bachelorette land uh, as part of that reality show. And then really impressed everybody on Dancing with the Stars. As she was the runner-up this season. She lost to Charlie D'Amelio, the 18-year-old sensation and TikToker. She lost to that, but now she is on tour with Dancing with the Stars. They do a tour after every season where you can um, see your favorites from the season dancing in an arena somewhere in your area. And here in Houston, they're going to be at the uh, Smart Financial Center, I believe, in Sugar Lamb. And I I'm, I'm making plans to go. I want to see this. First off, I'm pushing myself for more live entertainment this, this year. I want to see more live events, more live entertainment, so more trips for me and the missus to the, to the theater, as they call it, um, in Hobby Center and Jones Hall and things like that. Like last year, we saw Chicago with Pamela Anderson in New York on Broadway. I want to see Back to the Future this year in New York on Broadway. I want to go to uh, Jones Hall and, and the Alley Theater more here in Houston and see just, you know, live stuff. Booker was talking about New Jack City is here in Houston live. So but anyway... Want to see all that, and I want to support Gabby Wendy. She was a fun personality. She was an ICU nurse during the pandemic, and she's gotten a lot of respect from me. And she became, as the season went on, one of my favorites to watch. I found her to be real funny, real charming, 
um, and and really tailor made for a show like this. And she was really really good. So let's talk to Gabby Wendy right now on the collection. And she joins us right now. I'm so excited to get to talk to her. You saw her this season on Dancing with the Stars. She's been in our lives for the last couple of years, and she's going to be live and in living color in a city near you for the Dancing with the Stars tour. She'll be in the Houston, Texas area in February, February 26th at the Smart Financial Center in Sugarland, Texas. Gabby Wendy is here with us today. Gabby, how are we doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. How do we feel about this tour? I was looking at all the dates. Y'all have quite a, a lot of dates. There's a lot of cities that you're reaching. How do we feel about this? Yeah, they're keeping us busy. Um, you know, it's amazing. Uh, I feel like the show is so awesome. And it is, I'm still getting adjusted naturally. We've been on tour for like less than a week. So I did just wake up. Um, and sleeping on a tour bus is an adjustment, but, um, I think by the time we get to Texas, I'll be fine, (laughs) but I'm excited that so many people are going to be able to see this like wonderful production. So what, what can people expect from the tour? Like say I, cause this season I watched dancing with the stars, by the way, for the first time, I I don't know, in a few seasons, my, my wife and I said, and we watched every single episode, um, I have several questions for you, but if people watch the show, what can they expect in the live show? Um, you can expect there's, um, let's see, eight pros on tour, so you'll definitely see familiar faces and just a lot of dancing. It's really these pros, like, you know, showing off, like, what they've done their whole lives, and it's truly amazing to see them kind of woven in and out of storytelling and great music amazing costumes we have an incredible um wardrobe department who are so creative and like really just never give up and give us some of the best costumes so it's really great it's like to me it's like a broadway show you know but, you know i'm i mean i would say i'm biased but i don't think i am honestly <laughs> <laughs> well i can't wait to see it I, we're, we're going to be at this show when, when y'all come into our area but you brought up costumes and, and my wife and i were talking about uh, you and the show last night, and she goes, can you please ask Gabby about the costumes and what all <laughs> goes into that? Because there's a seven-day turnaround from episode to episode, and you all have these elaborate costumes. Do you go to the wardrobe with ideas? Do they have ideas for you? How does that process work? Um, both, really. They have, like, a whole creative team. Um, I pro Val, you know, spending his life growing up doing this, he has obviously a lot of insight and a lot of ideas of how he wants like his partner to look that's true to the dance genre. Cause I think that's also important is to try and like um, have some integrity in ballroom dance um, and not just come in and do your own thing. Cause there is a reason why, especially for the women, their costumes are the way they are to like add movement, you know, to add more to the dance, to basically make like your, your moves and body more impressive. So they have a a broad baseline of ballroom dance costumes. But on top of that, um, at least for the women, um, our costume designer, Daniela, she's just amazing. She, she has an eye, she's super creative. Um, she can make anything basically, and you'll feel like a superstar in it. So I don't know what her secret is, but I know she won't stop, and they literally work, like, overtime. They're some of the hardest workers on the show. I believe it. I believe it. The crew is really the unsung heroes of any broadcast or any production. They put in so much time and effort. I'm glad that that you're acknowledging her. Um, When you talk about the show, on a week-to-week, you have to learn all this choreography. It's live on Disney+. Plus. There's millions of people watching. Before you start the dance, like what what is going on in your mind, and and did it get easier week to week? What is going on in my mind is to please don't forget, don't mess up. <laughs> like, am I gonna die? You feel like you are gonna have a heart attack, and then your mind just like blacks out for no reason. You're like, right now, I just need you to do what I want you to do, but nerves honestly get the best of you. Um, but it's great. I mean, it was really hard. I think when you're in it, you know, you're so in it that you lose sight of, like, what it actually takes. But um, but it takes a lot of hard work, and it pretty much becomes your whole life. You keep yourself in a bubble, 
It's all you do think about. Um, so it is wild. It takes like a strong mindset for sure. When watching the show this season, obviously from the early on standpoint, you, you and Wayne and Charlie all kind of rose uh, as the three kind of top contenders, especially week to week. We all saw y'all's progression. Um, did you ever look at Charlie D'Amelio and be like, why is my arch nemesis an 18-year-old? Because she was so great from the <laughs> oh, get-go. Every day. <laughs> yeah, every day, literally, I thought those exact words. I'm like, my enemy's 18, she's basically a minor. Um, but she was never my enemy. And as I think, like, just as someone who appreciates art and other people, like, it was impossible not to appreciate her talent. Even the pros say that she's one of the most, like, technically capable dancers that have ever been on the show. Um, so her and Mark really created some amazing pieces. So, and she's just, like, so sweet and loved to watch her succeed. So, um, you know... I think, like, that part was really beautiful and great to see. Unfortunately, it was on the same season as me, so. <laughs> but, um, but that's okay. Like, I still really got, like, the best and fullest experience. So I have to ask you this, oh. because there's been only a couple movies I've ever seen more than once in the theater, and one of them is Chicago. And my wife and I, back in, mm -hmm. back in May of last year went to go see Pamela Anderson as Roxy Hart in the Broadway production of Chicago. And then when it came to your finale, you did Cell Block Tango, which is, you know, the seminal song from Chicago. Why did you uh, choose Cell Block Tango for your, your big finale? Um, I think, you know, Val kind of had a vision and it stood for many things um, that he wanted to showcase kind of like, you know, we flipped it to where when you think of cell block, block tango, I think you think of a lot of women initially. Um, but I was the only woman surrounded by a lot of men and which is kind of a nod, you know, to my bachelorette days, which is, I make it sound like it was in the distant past. It was like just yesterday. Um, you know, and I went through a whole journey like that. Um, and I really got, I felt like got to be the star and was, kind of able to really be in control. Um, so I liked it. And I, Val and I, I think, really took to the tango. It was some of our best dances. So we were also able to, like, showcase our talents while having this, like, amazing, iconic song and kind of flipping it in some way. Gabby Wendy joins us right now. She'll be in a city near you on the Dancing with the Stars tour. Make sure you get tickets. She'll be in the Houston area on February the 26th at the Smart Financial Center in Sugarland, Texas. Last question for you here, Gabby. Uh, again, thank you for your time. Uh, Lynn is leaving the show. You were of the last season to be judged by him. But it was another thing that I just had to know. When you're sitting there after you've put in a seven days of hard work, you have costumes, you have rehearsals, you have sleepless nights all that, and then you pour your heart into this dance, what is it like to stand in front of those judges? <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty rough. But <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm like, how can I put this? It is, like you do, you pour your whole heart and soul. The whole idea of Dancing with the Stars is to teach somebody a new talent, like a new technique. So um, to be judged on something that is new for many people like, it's like, you know, it kind of hurts a little bit. But um, the judges were great. And, I, you know, some people I may not have had the same experience. Like, Denise with us on tour. And, you know, he laughed at himself on getting a four from one. But, um, but yeah, it's part of the experience. They're speaking from knowledge. And ultimately, you know, it makes the show what it is. It is a competition show. Well, Gabby, congratulations on all your success. I can't wait to see you live here in the Houston, Texas area in February, and congrats on the tour, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much. All right, Gabby, Wendy, thank you.
Hurry up, tape running out.